Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDK.com. Uh, today we're talking about Microsoft Teams. We get asked a whole lot, why does this keep on coming back to my machine? Uh, in, in the past, the answer has always been pretty much the same. Uh, this is an Apex package, and if you uninstall the Apex package, but not the Apex provision package, it's going to come back at some point. Uh, but apparently Microsoft has caught wind that people are starting to take care of Apex packages so they don't come back, and so they went a different route with Microsoft Teams. Uh, so when it installs your machine, people are prone to go in, they'll go to the appwiz.cpl, and they'll just uninstall Microsoft Teams and call it good, it's gone. And then they expect it to be gone and it comes back. So what Microsoft has done is they have built a second, second I'm sorry, application, Teams Machine-Wide Installer. That's what's putting it back on the machines for you against your will. So if you want it gone and for it to stay gone, you want to uninstall Teams as well as the Teams Machines-Wide Installer. And that can just be done... Uh, command line is an MSI. You can do the uninstall from the uninstall string in the registry, or you can go to just hit uninstall here from the uh, application wizard. <clears throat> or, and shameless plug for our product, you can just go to uh, PDQ Deploy. We have in there a list of uh, packages. We have the uninstall Microsoft Teams. This is PowerShell. It's going to go in. It's going to uninstall both Teams and the machine one installer for you. So instead of going to each machine, going to do the manual uninstall, just quickly download this uh, package, deploy that to all your machines, and it's going to take care of both of those uh, programs, and it should stay gone for you. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.